So the video you're about to watch doesn't have a opening because it's a direct continuation of my last MCU video where I did phase three. I actually filmed those both on the same day. So there's no opening because I kind of forgot to make one. It was actually supposed to be one video. Let's just get into the video already because that's what you're here for. Okay, so phase four. We are in phase four now. Does, does this have every single movie that came out? I think so. Was Wakanda Forever the last movie? I don't really know. Quantumania started phase four, right? I mean, phase five. So I think this this should be everything. She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. I think that's what it's called. I never watched it. I feel like so many of these phase four like shows and movies are going to be never watched because, I mean, I never watched them. I wasn't, I wasn't excited for anything in phase four. At least after watching a few movies, I was just done. Like, uh, this phase really was like trash compared to the the other ones eternals never watched what if i watched i'll give it a c i don't really remember the episodes too much but i do remember like not liking some of them and then liking others it's kind of like star wars visions like star wars visions is like the episodes are hit or miss there's some good ones there's some bad ones which kind of makes the whole thing just whatever the thing about what if though it was supposed to be all connected like because i think at the end like everyone came together and defeated vision or ultron it was like ultron it was like ultron in vision's body so uh yeah that was that was something and i didn't like the ending that much it was oh like what if it was not that cool to me hawkeye i feel like i'm the only person in the world who actually liked hawkeye quite a bit like i feel like this was a good series it was fun i like the bad guy i think her idea was cool i don't even remember what she did though uh, now that i think of it i think like oh having like a, a deaf bad guy i was like Ooh, but i don't like i said i don't remember what she even did like much and yelena yelena really carried that whole show or is it yelena i don't really know but yeah she she carried i actually did like kate bishop and Hawkeye, I like Hawkeye a lot. That's probably why I like this show. I feel like he's underrated. He's an underrated Avenger. I'm gonna give it a B, and it's a B plus. Black Widow, I don't even, I don't even remember this movie at all. Like I, I, I watched it. I watched it and I don't remember it. I feel like part of the reason why this movie, I just feel like this movie is irrelevant. Like not even, it is kind of irrelevant to the story now that I think of it. But also I just, it, I feel like the marketing for it wasn't good. Like, I feel like no one remembers Black Widow even existed. And I feel like, I didn't, like, something was happening with it and it was kind of during Corona. So maybe that's why the marketing wasn't that good. I'm going to give it a D. I do not remember this movie and I don't remember loving it that much. It was just, it was okay. Like, I didn't absolutely hate it. The, the CGI was kind of weird and it was just like, nothing really was, uh, this movie, nothing... There was nothing to it to me. Like, I didn't really... I didn't feel anything. Shang-Chi. It was... Mm, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't, like... It wasn't great. Like, it wasn't... Mm, it, was, it was an okay movie. I'll give it... You know what? I might give What If a D. Now that I think... Like, I did not really, like, like that show that much. It was okay. Like... It was okay. <laughs> I think Shang-Chi is getting, like... If it gets a C, it's a C plus. If it gets a B, it's a B minus. Maybe I'll give it a B minus. I don't know. It might get moved. Wakanda Forever. <laughs> One of the few good Phase 4 Marvel movies right here. Like. It's a fact. I don't even know. Like. Do I want to give it an S? I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep it at A, but this movie was, like, actually, like, so good. Wakanda Forever, like, I feel like they really- it was a different vibe because, like, I mean, I think I've said this before in, like, one of my Marvel videos, but the thing about this movie is that all the Marvel movies had been so, like, jokey and, like, playful to the point where, like, I feel like this movie was, like, a nice change of pace. This was very serious, and it was very well done considering, like, it was made, like, I- two years after Chadwick Boseman died. They did a good job and I I actually I like I really like the villain in Wakanda Forever. This movie was I love this movie. And T'Challa's son I just it, it's a good movie. Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness. 
Um, I'll give it a B. I don't think it deserves an A, but it was it was actually quite good. I like this movie. Then why is Shang Chi? I'm giving Shang Chi a C now that I think of it. Yeah, Shang Chi like C plus. Like this, this, this mm, or C. I don't know. All I know is that Shang Chi's a C. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, though. There were some things I didn't like about it, but I feel like it was a pretty fine movie. Like, in Phase 4, it was pretty cool. Like, it was fine. I, I I think I only watched it like once though, so I can't really go into depth. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I remember really liking it when it first came out. Because I felt like it felt very Marvel, like, kind of like Phase 2, like, Avengers. Like, that's what it felt like. It felt like a very Avengers, Captain America. I mean, it is a kind of a Captain America show. But, like, very, you know, and I really like that about it. But now looking back, there are some things I didn't like about it. I don't know, because I, I know that I don't remember everything from this show. Like, I'm gonna have to watch it again. I'm gonna give it a C. Maybe I'll change it in a moment. I don't, I just, I don't know right now. <laughs> Thor Love and Thunder, I haven't watched, but I heard it was pretty bad. Moon Knight, I haven't watched. I heard it was good. I watched the first episode and was not really hooked. I went to my little brother, I was like, you wanna watch the first episode? And we watched it and I didn't care to watch anymore after that. And I was telling myself I'd watch it eventually, but I never did, so, um, that's a thing. Werewolf... I don't I don't see the rest, but I, I don't know what this is at all, but I did see it. Like I know this exists because I saw it on Disney Plus, but never watched. Miss Marvel and never watched it. I don't know if it's good or not. Like I never even heard anything about it, TBH. Um, this is No Way Home. No Way Home. No Way Home. I am tired of people saying that this movie is good. Like, y'all might hate me for it, but No Way Home is not that good. The thing about No Way Home that made people, like, think it was good was the fact that it played on nostalgia. Like, seeing Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire in this movie really, you know, played on people's nostalgia. Like, people really liked that. And I thought it was pretty cool, like, seeing all these different Spider-Men and... Seeing Andrew Garfield again and seeing Tobey Maguire again, that was- that was pretty cool, but plot-wise, this movie was not really good. Like, it was a pretty mid-plot line, like, this movie is not- probably my least favorite Spider-Man movie. Um, in the MCU Spider-Man movie, I don't know about in general, there are some Spider-Man movies I have to watch again, um, but- this was, like, my least favorite Spider-Man movie in the MCU. Yeah, it was cool seeing, like, old villains from Spider-Man and different Spider-Man from different universe, universes, but I'm giving it a C and I think I'm being generous. Loki, um, it was a pretty good show from my memory. I'm gonna give it a B. WandaVision it was a pretty good show from my memory. I'm giving it a B. The end. Uh, I would go deeper into Loki, but there was a lot going on in Loki, and I haven't watched that in, like, two years. Like, a lot- Loki came out in 2021. Like, and I haven't watched it since 2021. WandaVision came out in 2021, too, and I haven't watched it since then, but- There was a lot going on in WandaVision, too, though. But I feel like Loki was a little bit more confusing and I don't even remember like I really do not remember everything that was going on Uh, but I, I remember do I did like it WandaVision I can't really go too much into depth because there was a lot going on. It wasn't confusing, but there was a lot going on WandaVision was cool um it, it was like, you know, you were you were watching her turn evil Wanda and you really feel bad for her like I feel like WandaVision, I felt bad for her. This movie, I stopped feeling bad for her. Multiverse, like, I was like, okay, you're crazy now. But WandaVision, you, you, like, she was kind of crazy, but she, you still felt for her, you know? But the only thing I didn't like about WandaVision was the ending. Not exactly like there was something like, oh, like the ending, like, well, I was like, boo, that was a bad way to end it. It was more like, you should have taken more time with the ending. It was rushed, like, it felt like too much was being thrown at us at once and i feel like they should have stretched it out a little bit like then i would have appreciated the ending a little bit more okay so this is my phase four tier list um let me know if you disagree with some things if you 
would change where they are or for the ones you have that i didn't watch like let me know where you would put them because i'm interested in knowing how good some of these shows and movies are i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe if you want more content like this and i will see you guys next time